Hi everyone, I'm Chunlei Tang, and I will be presenting our Nurse Knows Nurse project once again. The purpose of this project is to invite everyone to help build a new type of mutual aid community for nurses in the US called Nurse Knows Nurse. This community aims to assist with various aspects such as certification, transferring licenses across states, improving study methods for passing the registered nurse or nurse practitioner exams, finding jobs, and creating AI-based virtual media education on social media. We have registered the domain name rnnalsarin.org and rnnalsarin.com. We hope to leverage data technology to reduce information asymmetry, monetize resources such as networking in the real world, and thus achieve the transformation from medical value to value-based medicine. The cover photo is a virtual image of one of our initiator. This project has two founders. First, I am one of the founders. My name is Chunlei Teng. My background is in computer science with a bachelor's degree from Shanghai Jiao Tong University and a master's and doctorate from Fudan University. I have been at Harvard for almost 10 years. I am the founding chairperson of the Harvard Data Entrepreneurship Club and an advocate for the data economy. In 2013, Fudan University Press published the Chinese version of my book, The Data Industry, which was published in English by John Wiley and Sons in 2016. In 2021, Springer published my English book, Data Capital. If you are interested, you can buy it and help promote it. The sales have been quite good, with five to 6,000 copies sold. Additionally, I am the global treasurer of the ACMW, the Association for Computing Machinery's Women's Council, and a senior member of IEE, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. The second founder is Jia Shu Yu. He is an assistant to Charles Rockefeller, serving as the CEO and CTO of many companies under the Rockefeller Group. He is also the chief advisor of our Harvard Data Entrepreneurship Club. Nurse Knows. Nurse is a new type of community we are building based on the DIO, Decentralized Autonomous Organization, and Web 3.0 business model. So what is this and what's its use? Everyone is familiar with the platform economy. Facebook and TikTok are examples of platforms. The advantage of this business model is that it gives the community control over who can join the platform how they interact with others, and whether users need to be removed or their actions restricted. The community can self-govern the content and the people sharing it. The builders don't need permission. Everyone has an equal opportunity to participate in Web3, and no one is excluded. Today, we are inviting everyone to be these builders. Let's take a look at the differences between Web 1, 2, and 3. Web 1 consists of basic websites and platforms like Wikipedia, similar to reading books and newspapers. It primarily offers a passive way of receiving information, despite having better search functions. Web 2 is an improvement, featuring interactive platforms like WeChat and YouTube where users can send messages and upload videos, actively sharing their information. However, user activities are restricted by the platform's rules, with some messages not being sent, some videos being flagged, and limited opportunities to earn revenue. Web2 is essentially an internet owned by organizations. This is where Web3 comes into play. It is owned and managed by users, with the key concept being decentralization. In the future, we will generally not be constrained by the various rules and restrictions set by platforms. A DAO, or Decentralized Autonomous Organization, 
differs from traditional hierarchical organizations in that it either has no bosses and everyone is an employee, or it has no employees and everyone is a boss. The decision-making process is handled through proposals and voting, ensuring that everyone in the organization has a say, with no central authority issuing orders. It operates without any legal form, existing entirely digitally, that is, only on the blockchain, and uses multi-signature technology for authorization. Let's take an example. Xiao Hong, who wears red clothes, wants to come to the US to become a nurse. In a traditional organizational form, she only knows Laozi, who uses some connections to find the Green Training Institution. The Green Institution hires orange teacher and blue teacher to help Xiao Hong complete her certification. Laozi doesn't get paid and only contributes networking resources. While the Green Training Institution charges Xiao Hong a fee, it must deduct the salaries of orange teacher and blue teacher. For the two teachers, they only receive their salaries. In a DAO form, these five parties cooperate equally and share the profits. Xiao Hong pays less and the others earn more. Even if the green institution still employs orange teacher and blue teacher, if they are DAO initiators, their salaries remain the same and they at least earn two more bonuses, one from the small project dividend and one from the platform initiator dividend. At the same time, this small project ends once the certification is confirmed by the five parties without waiting for the certification progress of other students. A DAO, Decentralized Autonomous Organization, operates in a relatively loose structure with every step recorded on the blockchain. According to the Ethereum Foundation, a DAO provides a secure way to collaborate with strangers on the internet and a safe place to fund specific ventures. Trust is no longer an issue for DAOs, as smart contracts ensure that every member of the organization is equal and cannot act without the consent of others, creating a truly flat structure. Once a vote is cast, the decision is automatically executed, similar to providing a service. All these activities are transparent and public. The use cases for DAOs are almost limitless, but yet to be fully explored. So far, DAOs have mainly been applied in charity, media, content creation, and fundraising. One of the most famous DAOs is Constitution DAO, where the community came together to raise $47 million to purchase a copy of the U.S. Constitution at a Sotheby's auction. When the DAO lost the auction to a billionaire, all the funds raised by its members were refunded and it ceased operations. However, this experiment set a precedent showing how like-minded people can come together in new ways to achieve common goals. The community we plan to build is also a new attempt, an organization run by computers where everyone is a boss or everyone is an employee. We recommend everyone check out Lao Gao and Xiao Mo's Web3 literacy video. Search for it yourself. Let's look at the regular revenue streams for our community in the future. Currently, we can identify roughly five main sources. One, learning and training, offering courses and certifications for nurses. Two, monetizing networking, facilitating professional connections and opportunities. Three, streaming education, providing educational content through various media. Four, membership fees, charging for different levels of community membership. Five, Web3 white papers and generative AI projects, leveraging cutting edge technology for additional revenue. As for membership fees, we have previously sent out surveys to determine appropriate rates. There are two levels, student membership and professional membership. For example, student membership is $25 per year, and professional membership, which requires an RN license, is $200 per year.
Specifically, the first revenue stream, learning and training, includes RN certification, training, and exams. In the future, it will also encompass obtaining a master's degree, earning an NP license, and participating in continuing education. Additionally, we can expand into the field of the NCC AOM exams for American traditional Chinese medicine. NCC AOM stands for the National Certification Commission for Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine, which offers three independent certification programs. One, Acupuncture Certification Two, Chinese Herbology Certification Three, Oriental Medicine Certification. Currently, 45 states in the U.S. and the District of Columbia list the NCC AOM exams and certifications as prerequisites for state licensure. The second revenue stream is monetizing networking, which primarily involves helping to obtain work permits in the U.S., assisting with job searches, and providing recommendation letters, among other services. It's important to note that our community offers a broad umbrella of protection for this kind of networking monetization. The clearly priced networking services are tax inclusive, and we will provide each participant with a 1099 form, one copy for the IRS and one copy for the individual. We will adopt the tax reporting methods used by gig economy platforms like Uber and Airbnb. Earlier, I shared a relevant training manual in the group. Those interested can take a look. For the third revenue stream, streaming education, our main focus will be on selling generative AI courseware. We have initially priced each set at $2,500 for the long version and $1,000 for the short version of registered nurse training. To manage company expenses, we will create virtual personas using one male and one female model. We will script content of varying lengths, automatically generate videos, and upload them to platforms like YouTube and Instagram to generate income. Currently, the revenue criteria on YouTube include reaching 1,000 subscribers and accumulating 4,000 hours of watch time. Let's take a look at the details. These images are generated using different algorithms, and even the arms are automatically generated. To create videos, we will use a model based on 16 photos of a person from different angles to enable realistic facial expressions and movements. Now let's compare the prices of competitors. One company based in the UK charges an annual subscription fee of $1,000 for a custom virtual person and takes 10 working days to create a video. We will add manual tuning to enhance the quality. In the future, we will offer customized virtual personas for each initiator. Our website will provide an API allowing users to manage their own virtual personas. Users can provide scripts, and the algorithm will generate several short and long videos daily. The content must be original. Dedicated personnel will be required for this work, paid approximately $200-$300 per hour after taxes. Here is our updated milestone plan. One. Establishing a nonprofit organization in the United States. By setting up a nonprofit, we can avoid the need for lottery based H 1B work visas, facilitating collaboration with schools and research institutions. 2. Securing funding from the U.S. company to establish a headquarters in Hong Kong. This will allow us to expand operations with domestic investment including enabling remote international Chinese medicine consultations and local prescriptions in the U.S. 3. Completing the DAO crowdfunding white paper. This document will outline our fundraising strategy and operational plans. The initiators are individuals who will invest funds to jointly establish the company before its formation. 
Currently, we have made significant progress. 1. Established the DAO LLC company last December. 2. Launched the website for trademark registration purposes this March. 3. Incorporated our Hong Kong company on June 13. We will apply for the Hong Kong government's Web3 grant using our revised white paper. Additionally, we will complete the short version of our digital courses before this August. The second milestone is to establish a Hong Kong headquarters with the ultimate goal of going public. There are several reasons for this. One, low tax jurisdiction. Hong Kong has an income tax rate of around 15%. Two, tax exempt dividends. Dividends paid by foreign companies with over 10% US investment are tax exempt when repatriated to the US. Three, attracting investment. Establishing a Hong Kong headquarters helps attract investment from China, circumventing US-China relations, and is advantageous for expanding into the Australian market. For example, this will be beneficial for our initial projects, which may include multiple versions of chat robots. As many of you know, our RN certification is recognized not only in Canada, but also in Australia, requiring only an additional practical exam. Since the U.S. federal and Wyoming state governments do not require us to register shareholder information, we continue to recruit sponsors. Here's how you can become an initiator of Nurse Knows Nurse Investment. Invest at least $3,000 for a 0.5% stake in the company. Details on where to transfer the funds will be provided shortly. Confirmation. Your investment must be approved by our existing founders and initiators through a vote. Although DAO organizations are designed for safe collaboration with new partners, our initiators are expected to align with the company's future development. We envision a U.S. company with a registered capital of $1 million, where 20% will be raised by co-founders and all initiators with approximately 50 initiator slots available. The remaining 80% will be crowdfunded through our white paper. According to US tax law, startup capital for a company cannot exceed $55,000. Exceeding this limit results in losing the tax deduction on the first $5,000 plus an additional $5,000, with the remaining $45,000 to be amortized over 180 months. Therefore, the initiator funds are divided into two parts. Initial expenses, $55,000, will be raised by two founders and up to 13 technical or resource support initiators with funds deposited into my personal account. This amount, collected before the deadline last August, will be used to build the website, write the white paper, and create virtual personas. Subsequent funding. Other initiators, such as nurse initiators or institutional initiators, will transfer their funds directly to the company account once it is established. Please note that these funds may be non-refundable. Even if we do not raise enough through our white paper, we will use these funds for external investments, including establishing a Hong Kong headquarters. Let me introduce our potential technical and resource support initiators. We will compile a list of all initiators' information and grant access to view it on the website. Here are our current technical initiators. Checked box indicates those who have already paid $3,000.
This is our payment method for initiator or member qualifications, corresponding to our company's account at Bank of America in the U.S. The founders will issue a confirmation letter with the logo, indicating the payment recipient's name, your name, the date of transfer, and the amount. The date is crucial because in the event of a tie during the initiator's council elections, the payment dates will determine the sequence of confirmation. The last two pages contain information about the project timeline for Nurse Knows Nurse. We have not yet included the future plans of the project in this timeline. The current plan, which has been previously mentioned, includes the following updates. 1. The short version of the courseware is almost ready. We will promote it in Malaysia and Hainan Island in August and September, respectively. 2. The white paper is expected to be completed by the end of this year, defended in Hong Kong four months after submission, and then crowdfunded in the United States. 3. The long version of the courseware is anticipated to be completed around June next year. Thank you, everyone. We believe our community will attract many initiators and experts to participate. We appreciate your interest.